Okay, we have to hang out with our friends and get ready for this party. Let's uh, invite people up. Cortez, Samara, and Trainer. How about Cortez? Sorry we're late. Somebody forgot to pick up the cerveza. Come on in. That somebody was you. Didn't say it was. So when's the game? It's about to start. Seattle Sorcerers versus Usaru Maestros. Gonna be some intense by Audible. Nah, it's just a goodwill game for troop morale. They'll take it easy. In the middle of a war with their troops watching, they'll give it their all. Absolutely. Have you guys seen Derek Rogers' game lately? Man, he and the Sorcerers have been tearing it up. Esteban, the Maestros don't lose. Have you seen Tyra Tassanis play? The woman is blue lightning. Mr. Vega, your love of the Asari team has more to do with how they look than how they play. Hey, that's not true. Not entirely. Besides, you telling me you don't got the hots for some of the sorcerers? Okay, okay. Guilty as charged. Who are you backing, Shepard? I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Uh, the Seattle sorcerers are one of the few human b-ball teams left. I mean, they were on tour when Earth was hit. Since acquiring Donna Novotny from the hackers, they've been completely unstoppable. Yeah, but most of the Maestros have been playing since before First Contact. They'll win this. I know the Sorcerers have never beaten the Maestros, but they've never been this hungry either. So, Chef, who's it gonna be? You don't bet against the home team. Mr. Vega, I hope you're hungry for humble pie. When has our commander ever been wrong? Come on, man, the game started. Merda, he was out! You're blind, ref! Yes! They did it! Now pay up. Hey, why didn't you let me in on the betting? We weren't exactly betting on who'd win. We were betting on if you'd pick the winner. And everyone knows you don't bet against Shepard. Anyway, it was a hell of a game. Yeah, great evening. Thank you, Shepard. My pleasure. Tomorrow comes early. Hasta luego. Hasta la we go. Uh, Someone for trainer next? Yeah. You sure you want to leave that here? I can't very well bring it back to the Normandy. I'd have nowhere to put it. This place is amazing. Puts the prefabs back on Horizon to shame. And it has a hot tub. Go ahead. Cheers! Oh, this is lovely. And good for the sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. Your what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust and cats and public speaking. I take a proton pump inhibitor for my stomach too and an inhaler for asthma. You have everything you need to stay healthy? Just about. The only medication I can't find is sucrocapsinol. My family doctor prescribed it for my headaches. Sucrocapsinol? That's a sugar pill trainer, a placebo. Oh, that sneaky bastard. And now that you've told me, it probably wouldn't work anyway. There was some scented bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? Yeah. Here you go. Thanks. Eyes are over here and up here. <laughs> hey, do you have a loofah? A loofah? This is Anderson's apartment, remember? I highly doubt he has a... Found one! Somebody left an overnight bag with toiletries and massage oils and, you know, girly stuff. Do you know who Kay Sanders is? She has great taste in adjustable massage ones. A loofah. Hmm. 
the back scrubber. Anyways, yes, Samara, and then let's get back out on the strip. I came as quickly as I could. What's wrong? I didn't mean to worry you. When I saw you were on the Citadel, I wanted to see you again. We've said our farewells, Shepard. Are we going to stand on formalities? These big picture windows remind me of our talks in the Normandy's observation lounge. This view doesn't have quite the same effect as a galaxy of stars. But I can see where it might make one sentimental. I also enjoyed our talks, Shepard. Very much. Hey, look what I found. An old issue of Justicar Heroes, May 2140. It says that you personally lifted 50 refugees across a raging floodplain on Nevos after smugglers blew up a dam. That news source has been known to exaggerate. So you didn't almost drown while saving a child who had been torn from her mother's grasp? The smugglers were not so lucky that I survived. Are there more stories like this? Perhaps. You might be amused by the June 2085 issue, Justicar Samara, Cold-Blooded Justice Runs Hot. It is not so difficult for me to find stories of your exploits. I think that you are remarkable, Shepard. When the vids sing your praises and call you a hero, does it make you blush? Do you agree? What do you feel? It's humbling. But honestly, if people feel that I'm making a difference, that bolsters me, my team, and our efforts. What now? I am content as we are, Shepard. Let us sit a while longer, even if there is nothing to say. Okay, okay. Now I'm pretty sure. Alright, so the invitations, emails. There's gotta be more. There has to be more. Cliffy has a little bow tie! Oh my god. I mean, well, he's not little either. He's increased in size, like, threefold. Let's see what's on the strip. Jacob, CSEC officer. CSEC officer? Who could that be? Yeah, let's uh, see how Jacob's doing. Is that the arcade place? Which is over here? Hey, Shepard, over here. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. What's up? Out for a little R and R. You? Exactly. Same thing. Hey, Jacob. I'm out of credits. Who are they? Their parents are MIA. Volunteered to take them on for the weekend, get their minds off things. What about us, Shepard? It's got to be a game of skill in there with our names on it. Let's do it. Great. This is your game of skill. Now, Shepard, I'll try not to embarrass you. Really? Trash talk? And shattered Ezo? Hell yeah, my pride is on the line. Also, these kids look up to me, so I have to take you down. You're gonna take me down? I don't think so. Well, step up, Shepard. Although it might be tough not having your squad to carry you. 
your run. No pressure, Shepard. These people are already idolized. So when you choke, it won't matter. You're crowding me. Am I? My bad. Stand back, everyone. Shepard needs extra room to make the magic happen. Ready? Let's do this. Glad none of your friends are here to see your humiliation. Yes! That all you got? Check it out, Shepard. Feel that? That's the feeling of doom. Never mind. I got this. That all you got? Come on, come on, come on! You crying yet, Jacob? Serious. Yeah! Jacob wins! Not my day. Congrats, Jacob. Ah, you probably let me win. Come on, Shepard. Let's grab some food. I'm buying. Oh. Oh, I'm ashamed. Hey, look, I, I didn't realize how to play the game until, like, I was in it. I just had to kind of go with the flow. C-Sex officer is... over here? Somewhere. Where is this officer? The worst part? After officer, someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan. Right this way, Commander. So, Grunt, anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call, straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I'll vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, sir. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. But you were in that hospital recovering from the Ragni encounter. Yeah, didn't feel like sticking around. Most people stick around long enough to, you know, heal. Most people aren't me. And why is CSEC here? Guess they're precious about some broken glass. Before I sign you up, everybody walked away from this in one piece, right? Sure, yeah, everybody's fine. Hospital seen better days, though. <laughs> right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday, tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. It didn't work out. It's your birthday? No, I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? Yeah, when c -Sec got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. I can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. It went up like a bonfire. The c -Sec guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why's that? Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Right. Sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. Grunt, you apologized to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. And 
and I won't do it again. Good. Now, officer, I can pay for any damages that may have occurred. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, officer. So, how were those noodles? A little spicy. You're my hero, Brent. <laughs> Alright. Let us get back to the apartment. I'm sure there's more to do. Yes, this is going to be the party episode. You have received a new message. As well as the the final like hangouts with like your your friends. It's weird. I guess they kind of do become friends. To the actual player, because like you spend you invest a lot of your time into these games, so they actually become like real people to a certain extent. Sometimes it depends how like well a character's written. Alright, Miranda, you said the casino? Yep. But well, where's my babe Jack? Where's she at? Why have I not got her like a uh, little invitation yet? Yes, I know that's where we met, but that night was bad. Welcome to Silver Coast Casino. Yes, good for you. An evening out. Sounds like you have some time to catch your breath. I do, just not used to it. Feeling a bit lost. <laughs> it's kind of sad, really. I got to thinking we needed a break. No point saving the galaxy if we can't enjoy it once in a while. I have to say I'm a bit surprised. I thought you might be. I can be, uh, <laughs> severe. You're focused. Believe me, I understand. I was thinking about our talk earlier, about having a normal life. Damn, I'm not very good at this. Truth is, Shepard, I'm not very good at being normal either. Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? Look around you. It's a room full of great ideas. Here? It's nothing but alcohol, gambling, and wasting time. Right. Need more wine. Bring the lady more wine. Oh, God. I'm gonna regret this. We're just friends out on the town. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Come on, partner. Let's start some trouble. Trying to think, I, I I do believe there's a Jack 
section to do. I can't remember about anyone else's. I remembered like um, that Miranda one and um, Grunt's little escapade with the CSEC officers. I'm trying to think if there's anyone else we've missed. I don't think there is. I'm honest. It's just that send the invitations. I could have sworn there was like a jack thing that we could have done. No? No, 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 no. Come on, there has to be something else to this. Okay, so I went and actually played a game at that um, combat range. I think that might have... Might have... Yeah, there you go. You have to play one game. And it unlocks Jack. Because I, I, I wanted to do uh, the combat range with Jack before the party. Because uh, Jack is... She is the romance option for me. She was one of those polarizing characters. Like, the, even the, de the devs said people are either going to love her or hate her. She's one of those personalities, but like, um, I really like the uh, Shepherd Jack relationship. But then I'm conflicted. I also like the Liara free game relationship as well. But I don't know. It it just feels right. The uh, Shepherd and Jack to me. Where do I meet her? Okay then, Jack. Hey, glad you can make it. I've got us set up. <laughs> we can level her up. You know what? It's all our level. Straight away. Maybe. They are tough. You know what? Swap out to your pistol, Jack. Right. I'm not doing very well here, am I? Where did that go? <laughs> Ooh, got him right in the face. Jack, this was just round one.
No, you don't. simulator no I want to make love <laughs> all right no matter what happens keep shooting what about you I'll have poppy thermal clip. Hmm. Yes, that was good. Now... That match was rigged. Finally, we can get to the party. Maybe there's some like little extras that I've missed. I don't think I have missed any. I was worried about that Jack one. But we got it in the end. You have received a new message. <laughs> ah, we can invite Jack over before the party begins. What? A private cabin on a stealth warship isn't enough for you? I'm watching the place for a friend. What are you doing? It's a surprise. I like surprises. Good. Get undressed. This isn't what I was expecting. That's why they call it a surprise, dumbass. Quit squirming. You do this a lot? Early on, yeah. Trying to cover up the Cerberus crap. Hard to keep your hands steady while you're doing yourself, though. No, I meant, have you ever done one for anybody else? Oh. No. Nobody else ever mattered enough. You still haven't told me what I'm getting. You're getting this. I hope you like it, because it's too late now. It's nice. Nice? It's not about nice. On this one bad drop on Palavin, I had to pull Rodriguez out from under a pile of husks. And if I hadn't recognized her ugly fucking boot, I wouldn't have seen her. She'd have died under there. Yeah. Okay, we're done. Good enough for an ID? Good enough. So that if you're ever hurt, barely breathing, lying under a pile of rubble at the ass end of this war. Hey. You worry too much. Hmm. 
How touching. Oh, don't do this. Don't do this. Give me my... Uh... Okay. Well, I want my uh, jacket. My jacket. So, I'm just going to leave and come back and see if it's uh, reset my outfit. If not, I'll have to go back to Normandy and then come back to the apartment. Oh, this party's taking a long time to start. Okay, I had to actually go back to the ship to get my jacket back. Right. But now, it's time. Where did your bow tie go? <laughs> it is time. To uh, do the final, like... Final bit of shore leave before the end game. That's kind of cruel. It, it won't like let you invite certain people. Oh, was there a Kasumi thing I could have done? Maybe. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure if I'm rest. Invite all. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Hey, come on in. Thanks for coming. Thanks for the invite. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Happy to be here, Shepard. Okay, hang out guests. Mingle. Man, this music is hot. The right music sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My parties are always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Stick with me, bud. I'm a party legend. Back in school, they called me Party Vega. Golly, I hope they had t-shirts printed. I ran with a simple crowd. Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Sure. How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. I'll drink to that. Am I going to find you on the floor tomorrow morning, LT? Here's hoping. Well, that's great. I can wake you up with my Abuelas Huevos Rancheros. Hey, thanks for doing this. I kind of needed to unwind a bit, even just for a night. I think we've all run to rest. That we have, Steve. Here's to us. And a chance to rest. Vega. Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed, but fun? I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Very funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. You know if that waterfall is warm water or cold? Does it matter? Yes, I will have another. I can't get over the size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition. Or funded the war. Or made a nice down payment on one of those Atlas mechs. Always one in one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. So, Shepard, you can serve this swill, but can you drink it? Someone has to drive you all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Feeling the Normandy. Now there's an idea. Wait. What? Who? Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always get another Normandy. Call up Cerberus and ask them to please build us the SR3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? 
Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Vas Normandy. <laughs> von means one who has a weak bladder, which feels appropriate right about now. We've seen a lot of good times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Hear, hear. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in. To the Normandy. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried the hummus. Also, Dr. Chuckwas apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could have had some. <laughs> okay. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends, I'm glad we could do this. You know why Cerberus is gonna lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure, they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? It was a brick wall. That reminds me, I heard you're going to be a father. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't scared. You'll do great. You're a protector. That goes a long way. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinner, shaking hands, kissing babes. I think the expression you want is kissing babies. I know what I said. You know, I miss the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when you two ran things. Excuse me? <laughs> the only thing I was in charge of was the Lazarus Project, which, you will note, was very successful. Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. At least back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Hey, not okay, Kasumi. But we did bring Commander Shepard back. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing all their guys. For which we thank you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. <laughs> yes. Hey, Commander. Weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird, but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling reapers with us. Anyway, thanks for putting it together. I'll try not to be too embarrassing. Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. How do you like the new crew? You always attract the best. Have fun. You bet I will. Edie, up for some bad examples of human behavior? I think you mean examples of bad human behavior. Just a hint. Grammar correction? Not the best icebreaker. Uh, no. Now that's where it's at, with the boys. Protean gatherings were nothing like this. We considered the future and respected the dead. Sounds boring. There's usually more yelling and cursing at any gatherings I go to. Yeah. Get a bunch of Krogan together and things always get fun. And probably broken. That sounds more like it. You're right. These things are better when you have redundant systems and natural plate armor. Can't argue with that. So who is strongest, you or the tank braid? Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. What'd I miss? 
The Prothean here wants to know who would win in a fight between me and Rex. Oh, Rex would win. You gotta admit, Shepard, it's a good question. It is a good question. No, it isn't. Baby Pijak here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. Ha! Ah, I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. You boys done talking? Yeah. Only one way to settle this. Headbutt. <laughs> now the party's starting. Another time, guys. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Ah, oh, just when it was getting good. Yeah, you got lucky. <laughs> I think you got lucky, uh, Grunt. In my cycle. Too many people in one room risk the high casualty rate of attack. We should all be careful. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. What is the point? Beware. Something called a Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. Foolish primitive. Nothing escapes these eyes. Reminds me of Korra's den. Haven't been back there in a while. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. What kind of music is this? That's not that club crap, is it? <laughs> you can break that statue behind you, Rex. And that's some music. I don't. I guess the Krogan have been too preoccupied with like fighting all the time that they've kind of lost their... We've not heard Krogan music. Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? The party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. Everyone's up and about, huh? I heard there's a big party in there. Can we come in? No, you can't. Go away. How's it going over here? You can't come in. It's going good. I see that. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really. No. Get lost. <laughs> No. Can I try that? Sure. <laughs> Press this button and say no. Uh, no. Great work. Oh, good. Thanks. No. See? Easy. Keep up the good work. Will do. I told you already. No! Yes, I like pie. And no, you can't come in. <laughs> Seems like fun. Hey, Shepard, thanks for the invite. Never been to a human party before. I've had lots to drink. And look at me, still standing. <laughs> Ever seen a Krogan drink so much they get sick on your floor? I'm here to make sure that dream comes true. I could stop bullets with my mind! You guys, I love you guys. No, no, listen, okay? No, no, really. Okay? Yeah, I'd hold off a little bit on the drinks there. Run. Worst planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre war? Pre war, life bearing worlds only. I'm going with Tarif. Garden World, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tarif and raise you Azoria. Home of toxic spores and athletes long. Neither of you'd last a day on Tuchanka. And Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. That's the point. It's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. 
Bring on the wildlife. Hey guys, Dr. Chop. No worries, this is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? The weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? <laughs> Sometime before I got the ass-kicking robot as my co-pilot. That's no good. What if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do target practice. Exactly. Some range time will fix you up. Right, Commander? You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine, remember? Joker's body count is plenty high. You don't need to take him anywhere. This is not about me knocking Joker. This is about being prepared for the worst. Man, I didn't hear of any gunplay when Rex grabbed your shuttle on Sir Cash. If there had been, I'd have killed our best shot at an alliance with the Krogan. You mean you would have wounded it? Ha! Ah. Then maybe we should drink. To brains as well as guns. Done. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. We'll see. Oh god, Shepard's horrendous dancing. Jesus, they're all gonna judge me. So, you're leading the Grissom Academy students? Yeah. That a problem? Just a surprise. Your psych profile suggested you were mainly interested in yourself. You're telling me I'm only interested in myself? <laughs> oh, that's just fucking perfect. Did it occur to you that maybe I'm trying to grow as a goddamn person? Oh, I could tell you were growing. I assumed it was whatever that is you're wearing. Oh, these? Well, yeah. They were strapped down with a leather belt before. It's kind of a stupid move to show off your rack in the middle of a maximum security prison ship. I never had the pleasure. You'd never survive. You might break a nail. You have no idea what I'm capable of. You're a spoiled rich girl cheerleader. Victim. Test tube clone princess. I think it's past your bedtime. Oh, did I hit a nerve? I didn't get to read your psych profile. Ladies, I see we've all gotten enough to drink. Relax, Shepard. I'm not gonna smear the walls with her this time. And I couldn't possibly think of anything worse to do to her than that haircut. Hey, cheerleader. My hair and I have been fighting fruits and marauders on the front lines of this war. Meanwhile, you got your big bubbly butt kicked by some guy with a sword. You see, Shepard? Best of friends. Uh, support conflict, support friendship. Uh, Jack, I support friendship. Honestly, I thought it might help if you two just kissed and got it over with. What? I mean, this is all just sexual tension, right? Two powerful biotics, forceful personalities, confident in their sexuality. You are shitting me. Oh my god. I'm ready to record. I'm pretty sure there's a market for this. Kasumi, I will find you and I will hurt you badly. Ugh. I need another drink. One for me, too. No ice. Don't worry, Shepard. The cheerleader and I are just messing around. You sure? You two seem pretty serious. Nah. She fights better when she's pissed off. I'm just trying to keep her primed. <laughs> well, okay. Saeed, are you trying to do some of the moves on uh, Samaru there? Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping me company. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Samara? Hang on, hang on. Don't get all snooty on me. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, 
I'm not sure what it is. I like the way the colors blend, and the depth of the... Actually, I have no idea what I'm saying. It makes me feel uneasy. Like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and a cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. <laughs> you are a complicated individual, Aid Masani. You bet your sweet Asari ass. <laughs> okay. What? No one's in my gym? Oh. Oh, I missed that conversation. Shit! What's wrong, you? I am asking the specialist trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, you said that you wanted to, quote, pin my voice against the wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that... Uh, you were talking about quantum entanglement, and I didn't know you were an AI. There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. Is it sage or basil? Anyway, I was just joking. You know, stress of the retrofits and... Really? My diagnostic suggested that you were genuinely aroused. It's really rare to get herb dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You have diagnostics. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Oh, good lord. Wait, this is dextro cheese, right? Kiva, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. There's fair, Trainer. Edie has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in Trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie, I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in certain machines. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never mind. Don't mind me, I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program. So I don't die. <sighs> this is perfect. I'm just going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Awkward. Awkward. Not oh, awkward. Enlightening. Well, that was mortifying. Tell me. Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they aren't. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. Maybe. What are you trying to say, James? I'm just saying. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean, check out these guns. Biotics can't give you this kind of fine instrument. The peak physical form that you see before you. Okay, you work for it. I get that. I mean it. Check. Me. Out. Hmm, not sure if I can tell just by looking. Is there more to your argument? Come on in closer. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah. Don't be shy. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Come on, Loco. You have to go with me on this one. Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. He's joking, right, James? 
I mean, what's your point exactly? Okay, okay, maybe it's not conditioning exactly. Maybe it's just the condition of one James Baker. Come on, Ashley. Hey, Liara. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit-ups. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> oh, goddess. Um, <laughs> I support biotics. James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win, hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah, I hear you. Look around you. That had to be an argument you couldn't win. It's okay, man. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Actually, you couldn't back me up? Not without closer inspection. Yeah? Huh. I think I can make that happen. Okay, then. Okay. More drinks? Snacks? Help yourselves. Yes, have fun. Is there anyone I can talk to? Nope. Let's uh, continue on the party. Your guests appear to be enjoying themselves, Commander. What shall I do now? Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin functionality. Jeff. Yes, E.D. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? It's going to take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, that's cheating. So we won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. You will not. Well, I will. <laughs> oh my Don't go there. Well, then maybe you should dance with it. Other people are dancing, Jeff. Yes, they are. And I am sitting here enjoying my drink. Uh, you should really get up and start dancing, man. Joker. No. Come on. No. Seriously? Ugh, fine. I have to say that, like, out of these two and their performance, I'm more of an ED kind of dancer. My dancing shit. But, you know. Whatevs! Could not. Could you? You've seen Biotics in action. I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh, I know you could, but do you have the cojones to actually do it? Any of you? <laughs> what a guy. Buckle up, brother. James, seriously? Shepard. What's up? Just demonstrating a little biotic supremacy. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. Exactly. Nice, right? I could feel that way on a whim. Do you find it relaxing? Uh, kinda. Among other things. Looks good on you. I'm glad you lost that bet, James. When's my turn? Careful. I need my full crew back when the night's over. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Come on, let's dance. Yes, 
Yes. Wonderful party, Shepard. I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Glad you came. Strange to see everyone in one place. Perfect, really. Hey, Shepard. Hmm. 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 What? What is it? What are the boys doing over there? Dancing during wartime wastes precious energy. Can't dance myself. I move like a greased one-legged varin. <laughs> Not a pretty picture. Trevor! So here's where the party's at. Goddamn right. Come to hang out with the popular kids, Shepard. Easier to talk back here. What do you think of the music? Great? Bad? What? Not as good as in your cycle, eh, Javik? Am I right? Not even remotely. Knew it. Oh, maybe we can leg wrestle later. Perfect end to a perfect evening. Sure, absolutely. I'll look for you later then, maybe. I got a this. Leg wrestle? Jackets on the table. Oh my god, it's so hot. Anyways, where is that one Krogan? Where is the young blood? Where is he at? Yeah, there's always one. Grant, you okay? What? Yeah. I got five credits. Excellent. Go back to sleep. Yeah. Always one. Just needs a cold shower. Woo! You should bring out those moves more often, trainer. You and I dancing at the same time? Too dangerous. We'd light the room on fire. This is unexpected and fun. I'm always amazed humans can dance with the way your legs bend. The way our legs bend. Yes, you and the Asari. I'm surprised you don't tip over. I don't tip over until I found company, dog legs. Till then, watch and learn. You love it. Hell yeah! Ha, go for it! Captain on deck! Has he always been like this? Shepard is saving the galaxy. You have to forgive a few eccentricities. It's very enthusiastic. It is impressive. We should record this and broadcast it for the Reapers. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. Don't tire yourself out flailing like that, Shepard. We're doing it on the table later. Hey, some of us eat at that table. <laughs> Buddy, you got that right. <laughs> nice. Ooh, good photo, huh? Taking a wild guess here, Shepard. But whatever you're serving is starting to kick in. Has Leo always been so blue? Yes. Yes, she has, Karis. <laughs> From the very first time we met. Dancing is often considered pleasurable, Jeff. Well, not for me. Perhaps you've just never found the right partner. See, ED has the right of it. My god. Hey, everyone. Come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way! Make way! Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to us. Ready, Glyph? Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone say Normandy. Normandy! Normandy.
night. But look who's here. <sighs> that was nice. It's good to just relax every once in a while. Relax? Are you even hungover? Nope. You want me to find some vodka and we can go again? Let's see if anyone else is up. Yes, I was just I was just about to say aftermath, Chavik. Ooh. Oh, is it time to rule the galaxy now? Kneel before Chavik. I had a dream. Fifty thousand years had passed. It was horrible. I was alone. Primitives had evolved. They ruled the galaxy. Solarians. Terrians, the Asari. There was one, the Ara. She had those eyes and that voice. She was blue. No, no, it was just a dream. Oh, I smell primitives. Oh, it was no dream. <laughs> Sorry, Javik. Oh, hey, hey guys, how you doing? Did we uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrated. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe I should just stop saying that word, but only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. Miranda takes forever to do her hair. You'd think with her jeans, she wouldn't need to. Was someone making tea? I could use some tea. The apartment seems so quiet now. The apartment seems so quiet now. Because it is. Ah, meditation. Shepard, good morning. I want to thank you for inviting me here. It was good to see everyone again. I hope you enjoyed your evening as well. Yes, it was, uh, it was nice. I am going to die. I didn't know you could go through that many toxin filters in one night. Do I have a tattoo? I remember something about a tattoo. Don't get me wrong. Great party, but... Ugh, yeah... <clears throat> I'll just be here, right here, forever. Oh. Oh. Yes, <laughs> after joy comes suffering. Ooh, there, straight out it, huh? Shepard, I was just going to lift some weights, wanna join? I feel fantastic. How about everyone else? 1085. 1086. 1087. Shepard. Shepard. Straight out, Shepard. Hey, you look like shit. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. Even normal biotics get hangovers, but I can drink until I puke and still wake up just peachy. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. Hey. Hey. Jack, you're gonna beat my record. Morning, Shepard. I had a lovely time last night. I see everyone survived the festivities. More or less. Mmm. Good tea. Mmm. Mmm? Mmm. Mmm. I think I broke my head on something last night. Yeah, it was called, uh, Rex. Bathroom is all cleaned up, Shepard. 
Good as new. Shepherd. Shepherd. Runt. Okay, who wants eggs? Liara, eggs? Trainer. Esteban, eggs? Joker, where is that guy? Ash, come on, I promised you eggs. Rex, buddy, eggs? Tally? Ah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javik, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Miranda. Shepard, eggs? Shepard. No eggs for me. Shepard? Morning. I need a floor to curl up on. Oh, not... not so loud. Hey. 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 Oh, what are you doing in here, Samantha? So, last night, I didn't... do anything, did I? I'm checking extranet sites. No hits yet, so... maybe I just imagined that last part. I'm almost sure someone was recording us, though. Oh... I should probably talk to Edie. Or alternatively, I should never talk to Edie ever again. It's not my fault. I was overserved. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Alright. The party has officially come to a close. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. So I've managed not to throw up. Feeling pretty good about that. Oh, if everyone could just not talk so loudly, that would be great. Or close the cupboards too loud. Or walk too loud. You know, just, just think quiet thoughts. Ugh. Still fun, though. Commander. Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. About time. You live past 700. You start paying for a night like that the next morning. Huh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> yes. I feel your pain. Shepard. Good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. By the way, you're almost out of bacon. Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that dextro shit in the freezer. I saved you three strips. Figured it was fair payback for all the times you saved mine, right? Shepard? Mm, morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. Oh, I would have thought all those tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last night. What a night. Wish it never ended. Thanks, Shepard. Thanks, Shepard. Well, Steve, I have to say, like, um... My downfall is definitely tequila shots. Oh, Kasumi. Didn't know she up there until right now. Morning, Chef. You went all out with the breakfast supplies. I didn't know you could get real milk on the Citadel. I had some. Thought it was soy. I'm not really lactose intolerant. I just don't put up with lactose's stupid drama. In case I don't see you again, thanks. That was a lot of fun. I should go. Stupid dairy products. Hey. Oh, okay. Party's coming to close. Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. Nice. That was a joke. I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast. Breakfast is always good. Okay. Fortunately, this nice light little send-off has come to an end. And we have to get back to saving the galaxy. Oh, 
Alright, let's return. Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? There's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave too? I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. Break time's over, huh? At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. Knock that shit off. You're gonna blow the Reapers to hell. And then you're coming back and taking me out dancing. You know? For all the shit we've been through, we've had a damn good run.